For anyone who wants to become a pro game developer, here's the harsh reality. If all the free tutorials, courses, colleges, and boot camps worked, why aren't you working in a game studio? Why are you being rejected from every job you apply for? The answer is simple. Most tutorials just make you copy and paste what's being done in the video. They show you that how, but don't explain the why behind how something is done. That's why whenever you finish a tutorial or try to create something on your own, you can't do it. And on top of that, most tutorials just repeat themselves. Any YouTube game developer out there who publishes a tutorial, it's basically just repeating everything that's being done before. And on top of that, most of the time these tutorials come with poor coding structure and bad coding practices. Courses are no different, and you can see this by going on your Udemy profile and take a look at how many courses you have. 10, 20, 30, 40, more or less, you're just buying a new course after new course, but you're not opening it. Why? Because you went through some of the courses, you spend like 10, 20, 30 hours on them, and did you learn anything? No, even the top creators, and I have nothing against them, but even if you take a look at the top creators like Game Dev TV, they're just repeating stuff over and over. And if you take a look at their reviews, the only thing you will see in the reviews is good course, highly recommend it. Oh, I learned a lot in this course. I learned how to create a character, how to move him. I learned Unity. But do you know one thing that you will never see in those reviews? You will never see somebody say, oh, I got a job by learning all of the things that are in this course. Oh, I managed to create a portfolio that got me an interview in this and this game studio. Oh, I managed to pass the interview with everything that I learned in this course. Did you ever see any single review of that type on Udemy, on any of the creators, on any of the instructors? Of course not, because they're teaching the game development with basic examples, traditional way that only give you skills to use it as a hobby, but not in a professional way. Colleges and boot camps are no different. They take the, a traditional approach in teaching where they teach you the theory behind how a game is created. But game studios only look for practical skills. The game studio only cares about whether you can do the job or not. And the main pitch of any college and boot camp is hey, you will get this diploma when you finish or you will get this certificate and you can use it to get a job. But that's far away from the truth because again, game studios rely on your skills to do the job. They don't take some piece of paper as proof that you have the skills. Instead, you will sit down, show me the skills, prove what you can do. So what is the solution to all of this? How can you actually learn game development and how can you get a job as a game developer in any game studio for that matter? Well, first you need to learn the fundamentals of game development. This is what you need to focus on. This is what no tutorial is teaching you. And the fundamentals, they contain or they are object-oriented programming, how C Sharp works. This is when it comes to Unity. When it comes to Unreal Engine, it's how C++ works. What is object-oriented programming with C++ and C Sharp? what is a class, how to create a class, what is a method function and all of that stuff. So these are the fundamentals and this is the why behind the how a game is created. So when you know these things, you will be able to create any type of game you want on your own. Next, you need to learn how to create a stunning portfolio, a portfolio that is going to help you stand out because the reality is a lot of people are going to apply for a game development job and you need to stand out. And it's easy to stand out when you know these things that I'm preaching right now because most of these people who are applying, they follow these basic tutorials, they create portfolios out of the games from those tutorials. So many of them will have copy pasted code, copy pasted projects. And if you create something original, something you're on your own, something that nobody else has created, you're going to stand out. And the third thing is when you have a portfolio that will help you stand out, you will get a job interview. And now passing the job interview is the last step for you to get hired. So these are the three components. And of course, passing the job interview requires that you know the ins and outs of your project on your portfolio so you can answer questions because you will be asked, how did you solve this problem in this project? How did you come up with the idea? What approach did you use? That is one of the questions that you will get most likely amongst other questions. But these are the three components. So the fundamentals, learning how to create game portfolio and how to pass the interview process. And neither of these other traditional educational routes 
No free tutorial on YouTube, no course, no college, no bootcamp is ever talking about these things. So let me ask you one thing. How do you expect to get hired in a game studio when they don't even teach you the fundamental things you need to get hired in a game studio?